Day 15 check-in. How are your commitments coming? How are your pieces coming? How is your commitment to exercise or clean some rooms or do whatever you committed to for 30 days? Here's me. I got three sets of earrings done. I'm getting really late to my 30 pieces each day. Um, I really gotta, tomorrow I'm gonna try to knock out a whole bunch because I'm already two days behind, which means I need to do 90, but I'm gonna do the 30 again today. Here's the first three. You will know that I completed the 30 because I'm gonna change the thumbnail to all a photo of all 30 when I'm done. But um, you guys tell me in the comments, how are you doing? That's what's important. I wanna hear, um, are you managing to do your goal every single day? And if you are not, do not despair. Just readjust and pick a goal that is doable. Um, it's a million times better to try and fail than to never try. And it's a universe of night and day. In fact, failing is, is just steps on the way to full success. So never, ever, ever feel bad about failing. Just say, that was a step. That was a step. I didn't know it was going to be that kind of step, but it was a step forward nonetheless. Failing always feels like a step backwards, and it's really a step forwards. It's, it's refining your brain and your mind to your heart to um, burn out the fluff and help you to focus and help you to see what's really important, help you to see what, what, um, where you're falling short and what you need to work on and what's important to let go and what's important to, to focus on. Anyway, if you're new to the 30 day challenge, we're halfway through, it's day 15. Um, you can still jump in, you can jump in at any point. You can do the next 15 days with us and then join in when we, if we start another one after this. Um, maybe we'll take a few days off, maybe we'll jump right in, we'll see. But it's basically you commit to doing something that's harder than you've been doing or just a little more challenging or just something that you, for whatever reason, keep putting off, but not something overwhelming, something you can do every day or if you wanna structure it differently, one person is doing only weekdays because of the way their life is set up. Um, you know, you could do it three times a week, but whatever you commit to, commit to it, put it in a comment and then each day look for this check-in video and write the comment on each video to say, I did it or I did even better than my goal, or I didn't make it, but here's how I'm gonna readjust. So thank you all, everyone who's participating. You guys are awesome, and keep it up. Look, read other people's comments and give them a thumbs up if they're, if, if they're really trying, and give them, put a comment under their comment if, if they look like they need some encouragement. And uh, these cute little teeny tiny things, this is six millimeter beads at the top and four millimeter at the bottom. So simple. In wire wrapping, like we see this infinitely um, intricate pieces all over the internet and we think, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And some people get excited and others get overwhelmed. These things sell so fast and they're so simple. Like simple pieces sell faster in my experience. Always simple pieces sell faster. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try the more elaborate ones because they're fun. They push you as an artist. They're exciting, but I always say mix it up. Have some simple, have some moderate, and have some really beautiful, fancy ones. Because really beautiful, fancy ones draw people in from far away. They'll all say, ooh, 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 ooh. they won't buy it. One person will buy it every six months. A hundred people will touch it and say, ooh, that's beautiful. And then they'll go and buy one of these simple ones for a more affordable price for them. So I put, could put little charms on the end and make them fancier, but some people like them like this, just like some people like little posts and studs and tiny earrings. Some people like these teeny tiny little like buds. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful night. Get some rest. Let me know how you're doing, and I'll see you again checking in tomorrow and hopefully having some teaching videos too. Good night.